everyone, my name is Gurleen. You might know me as Glam by Gilly from Instagram and welcome to my YouTube channel. So I finally did it and recorded my first ever YouTube tutorial. It took me forever. I've been saying since the beginning of 2019 that this is my goal and I'm gonna do it, but I was always so like hesitant and kind of insecure to get onto the YouTube world. Like I don't really know what you're supposed to do and like how people are so comfortable just talking to the camera like I've never have been um, but I feel like I'm so comfortable with like Instagram tutorials that I needed to do this for myself so I finally recorded the look that I have on right now so if you like the look and wanna see the products that I love and that have been working for my skin and the steps I take to do something like this just continue watching since we're gonna be doing like a more of an everyday glam, I just want to show you guys my favorite skin prep products that have been working for me. Um, we'll first go in with the moisturizers. The moisturizer I've been using right now is the It Cosmetics Confidence in a Cream. I love how this moisturizer feels on my skin. My skin is extremely dry and I love heavy moisturizers. So whatever is a thicker consistency, not gel based, I feel like works better for my skin. I also love going in with skin oils. Um, today I'm gonna use the um, Pharmacy um, Honey Grail. I love that one as well and it's very thick. So if you're someone that's on the oily side, I don't think you guys would actually like it on a day to day. I just like doing a couple drops and then going in with my fingers and just rubbing it all in. I was initially not gonna put on foundation, but I think I will, so I'll show you the primer that I've been loving as well. So these are my products that I always end up going back to. No matter what I do, and I try a new product, I feel like on a day-to-day, -day, I will always go back to them. I've been loving the It Cosmetics Confidence in Eye Cream as well. It's anti-aging and I feel like my under eyes are always so dry as well. So I just like applying it with my ring finger and just rubbing it all in. A little goes a very long way with these products. You don't need to use too much for it to work. The serum I've been using is a very cherry bright. It's 15% clean vitamin C. Uh, if you follow me on Instagram, I feel like you guys would know that I love my skin feeling like skin and I'm not someone that likes the whole cakey feel especially because I'm dry I feel like all makeup products kind of just like sit there and they don't blend in that's why I like prepping really really well I'm going to go in with the Vasanti Hyaluronic Boost Lip Plumper even for this a little goes a really really long way sunscreen sunscreen so important I always try to use it doesn't matter if it's winter or summer Neutrogena Hydro Boost SPF 30. It's so great, very lightweight, and it doesn't give you flashback. That's a hard thing with sunscreen. I feel like so many of them are great, but a lot of them cause flashback. Putting it all over my neck, my nose. The way I like doing my makeup, so I like doing my brows first. My eyebrows always end up taking me the longest. So the products I'm going to be using are by Benefit Cosmetics. I love the Precisely My Brow Pencil in 4.5. So I always line the top and bottom. My one eyebrow is like my favorite eyebrow. I love this eyebrow right here. I feel like it's great. The shape's there, the color's there. I don't really think I would feel in my eyebrows on a daily. But then this eyebrow is so sad. When I was like two, three years old, I actually shaved off this brow and it just, just grew back very sparse. The hairs grow in all different directions, so I always have to fill it in. And in high school, I don't know if you guys saw my 10-year challenge on Instagram. Um, Instagram's Glam by Gilly, you guys should follow me. But um, I actually had no eyebrows. I did the whole thin eyebrow thing. It was a mess. I hate so I'll go in with the precisely my brow and then line the bottom. <laughs> This is my bad eyebrow. Typically, I would go in to my bad eyebrow first and line it. You want your eyebrows to be sisters, not twins. It's very hard to, no one has extremely perfect brows unless they've gotten them microbladed or they've had no eyebrow struggles. Kudos to you guys. But I just like matching as much as I can. So after I've lined the bottom, I will go in and just trace the top as well. I love a thick brow. I've always liked thicker brows after the skinny brow trend ended and I finally got some hair back.
Next, I'm gonna go in with the Benefit Cosmetics Goof Proof Pencil in the shade 5. It's a, it's a little bit of a thicker tip, but I love creating brush strokes with it. So what I'm going to do is start with the arc of my eyebrow and just slowly do brush strokes and fill it in. Like hair like strokes, you want to work very slowly. My brows always take me the longest. I need at least 10 minutes just to do a solid brow. What I like doing is taking the back of it and taking the spoolie and just brushing out the front. So I don't really put in too much product at the front at all. I just brush in. the Benefit Cosmetics 24 hour brow setter and this is like basically like a gel for your eyebrows and I feel like it just keeps it all in place nothing moves and I feel like I'm gonna go in with the LA Girl Pro Concealer in a very nude color the lighter the color the better in my opinion Using a concealer brush, I'm just going to go in and just clean that up and blend it all in. I like blending downwards. I'm just going to go in and prime my skin. I'm going to go in with the CoverGirl True Blend Hydrating Primer. I love anything that's hydrating. I'm gonna go ahead and conceal my under eyes. I'm using the Visanti Liquid VO2. And what I like doing is going in and drawing a triangle. I like letting it like sit on my skin. So like I'm letting the product bake a little bit. I'm gonna do it on both sides. And I feel like I wear glasses. I'm wearing contacts right now and I feel like the insides, like my tear duct area of my eyes, are actually really dark as well, so I like applying it there too. The corrector for my tear duct first into my eye with the Visanti mini brushes. They're so cute and they feel so amazing on my skin. So I'm gonna go in with the Urban Decay Stay Naked Concealer, shade 50WY. Go in with my beauty blender. I'm a beauty blender girl, 100%. Then I'm just gonna take the Huda Beauty um, Easy Bake in the shade Pound Cake, very lightly on my brush and brush it all off and just set on top. I always set my liquids with powder. I'm gonna go in with a ColourPop highlighter in Flexitarian. What I'm gonna do is just put it in my tear duct and then highlight my brow bone as well. So I like just going from the arc of the brow to the end of it. And I'm going to use the Sigma Warm Neutrals Volume 2 palette. I absolutely love this palette. Go in with the shade Toasty and just apply it on my crease. So you can use any blending brush, honestly. I like using a big fluffy one, so if you see the head of this brush is big, loose and fluffy. And I just start off by the ends of my eyes, my crease, and I just do um, windshield wiper movements back and forth to just blend out the product. You can even do circular motions and blend it out. And I always flick out my eyeshadow a little bit. I feel like my eyes are smaller and it just gives more depth to my eyes. Go into the color Henna. So it's the other brown shade. Take a little onto... You can use any blending brush honestly, but take a little. And once again, I start at the ends and I blend inwards. So you want to work a little under 
the crease shade that you already applied to give it a true blend. Keep going back and forth, make sure it's fully blended. Use circular motions near the end, then I flick outward to the shade Iconic. I just blend this onto my entire lid. And boom. Same thing on the other side. Blend it in. I love this Sigma palette because it's so blendable. You don't need too much product. And I'm just gonna go and blend this out with the same Anastasia brush. So I'm trying to make this as informative as possible. Just trying to explain every step. Just gonna brush out my eyelashes. And I feel like the under eye has been sitting there for a while, the liquid VO2. I'm just gonna brush it out. This product is so amazing that I feel like you can even use it without concealer. Like I could leave my house because it's like all concealed. It doesn't look too orange or anything. The excess I'm just gonna put it around my mouth area because I do feel like I have a little bit of hyperpigmentation here. Next I'm gonna go in with the Benefit Cosmetics Roller Eye Bright Pencil. So I love a bright nude under eye. I don't really do gaudel or blacks, I feel like, as much in Mandarin just because I have a small eyes and I love the dull eye look. I love my eyes looking brighter and bigger and you can just see the difference between them. So a makeup hack that I actually learned in a masterclass that I took by Sabrina Makeup was taking a highlighter and going under your skin. So I'm gonna use the Anastasia Marisi. And I love highlight. I love the dewy look. So I'm gonna go in with my Beauty Blender, just I'm gonna dab it in here and just apply it under my skin. So I'm gonna apply it wherever I would apply highlighter. Instead of like going in, like you see it on Instagram, you can use like a liquid highlight and put it all over your face, but that really doesn't have too much of a benefit. Like it sh it's too much shimmer and glitter. You can already see the difference. Applying it to my lips. So everywhere I would apply highlighter. I'm just gonna apply a little bit of it. Now I feel like I look like a disco ball. I love the YSL foundation. It's in shade BD50. So if you are someone that's dry, I highly recommend it. It's more of a light to medium coverage. Very buildable, but it feels like skin and it looks like skin. So you're not gonna really get the high coverage look. So if you are someone that's oily and likes a high coverage and matte, you won't really like this because it does dry a little dewy. And I'm just going in with the Stippling Buffing Brush by My Makeup Closet. And I'm just buffing it into my skin. So I took like two pumps and applying it everywhere down my neck. Always apply your foundation down your neck so it matches. Into your ears as well. And then my forehead. My forehead is actually darker than the rest of my face just because I feel like I have more hair growth there. And after buffing it all out with my brush, I'm going to go back with my beauty blender and make sure it's all buffed in, all blended. All the excess product will come out. The concealer I'm going to be using is Too Faced Born This Way. Um, and golden beige. I love a heavy under eye. So I'm gonna draw from my nose outwards. And then the bridge of my nose. The Urban Decay All Nighter Spray. And just do a quick spray all over my face. I feel like this is what keeps your makeup looking hydrated, lasts all night long and keeps it from looking cakey. Like I apply a lot of layers but I spray in between and make sure everything is hydrated and set well and I feel like it looks more natural. And I always take it upwards. This cleans your um, eyeshadow as well and gives you like a sharp look which I love. Set 
your under eyes um, with uh, like a mineralizing powder or like even like on my clients I use the MAC Fi Studio Fix powder. Um, on myself I love the Vasanti Face Base in V3. I'm just gonna lightly set my under eyes and then I'll bake because this will help you with the creasing. I know a lot of people have issues with creasing and that's your biggest concern and it's mine as well. You want something that's very similar to your shade. And I'm just gonna set it really lightly. So my forehead does crease really quickly. I always have to go in and blend it out. And I'm just gonna set my smile lines as well. A bigger brush, I'll just go in and lightly. I love, love, love the Huda Beauty Easy Bake in the shade Pound Cake on myself. It's my Real Techniques brush. It's gonna tap some product and then tap the excess off of my lid. And set the same way that I concealed. So I'm gonna make the same. The same Sigma Beauty Warm Neutrals palette. I'm just gonna follow the same steps that I followed at the top at the bottom. Um, the Sigma Beauty Small Tapered Brush. I'm gonna go in to the first crease color, which was Toasty, and just follow under my waterline. And you can use a bigger buffing brush because this is a lighter crease, uh, crease shade. Next, I'm gonna use the Anastasia brush, the other side of it, and go into the color Henna, and starting from the outside, work inwards. The same color Pop Fluxitarian, and finish off the tear duct. I like spreading it all the way to the bottom. Now I will just dust off the bake. That's all how long I like baking. Not for too long because I am dry. I go in with the Visanti Cosmetics Contour Powder and Eclipse. The Visanti Cosmetics Small Mini Brushes. I'm gonna go in I'm making a fish face. You start from your ears and you're gonna follow the top of your ear. And you're gonna follow to like your mid eye. And I just keep blending. I'm more of a powder contour type of person. I just feel like it looks more natural. And you can already see the difference. In contouring, I'm gonna contour my cheeks. I feel like I have a double chin, so my um, jaw area and then my nose and I just, the leftover powder that's left, I'll put on my forehead, but I have a small forehead so I don't really feel like I need it. I just like applying a little on my temples. I use more of a, a flatter, but it's still a blending brush, but it's more of a flatter shape. Going into the powder, I'm gonna follow from my eyebrows all the way down. I do have a little ball at the tip of my nose so I like making it a little sharper. And you're just drawing two lines and then you can blend them out. I like taking the contour powder to my nostrils, blending it all out. you're gonna draw a little bit of a line very lightly to close off the nose to make it look a little I'm gonna go into my favorite favorite bronzer it is a Milani Cosmetics so well bronzer go on with my my makeup closet um, cream cheek blush brush it looks like this and just follow wherever I 
contoured very lightly. It's more of a warmer shade, as you can tell, it just warms up your face. I love, love, love bronzer. Into the same Huda Beauty Easy Bake and just sharpen out the contour. I'm just gonna go in using the Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara. I'm just gonna apply mascara at my bottom. So when you have lash extensions, you can't apply mascara at the top. Depends. Oh my god. I've seen those videos where you can clean up the highlighter, so I'm just gonna show you. It's actually really pretty, but just um, cracked on me. I'm still gonna use it, and then I'll try fixing it after. I love Visanti. This is by far one of my favorite brands. When I first started wearing makeup, it was a brand that I went to. So I like doing contour, highlight, and then I'll go in with blush. Apply it to the tip of my nose, down the ridge, onto my lips as well. I'm just gonna dust off the powder. And now I'll go back in with my setting spray by Urban Decay. And spray my face. Go back in with the Anastasia Amrezy highlighter. And I feel like this highlighter is a great topper. I know a lot of people didn't like it, but it, the finish of it is beautiful. So just in the same areas, left over, I'll apply it to my forehead. Next, I'm gonna go in with my all-time favorite blush. It's Tropic Hues um, by Laura Geller. In like a buffing brush like this, it's a powder brush. I'm just gonna dab it in here. I always like smiling. And apply it to my apples first, then I'll blend upwards to blend in the contour and highlight. So just putting it onto the apples and then taking it up. People that don't like blush, I don't understand because I feel like it gives you so much color. Your favorite setting spray. Now let's go into the lips. It's my favorite lip combo. Because if you follow me on Instagram, Glam by Gilly, you guys will know this is my go-to. So I like using the o Ofra Cosmetics liquid lipstick in the shade Verona. First, and if you know me, if I like something, I will continue using it till I don't like it anymore. And this is one of those products. I let that dry, and then I'm gonna go in with that um, Milani Cosmetics Satin Matte. I just like applying the lighter shade to the middle, top and bottom. This is my favorite go-to semi-everyday look. It was started out with everyday and then I just wanted to show you my favorite products that I've been loving. And I hope you guys loved it. If you have any questions, please put them below. And any other video suggestions, let me know and I'll continue filming. Thank you so much for watching.